There it goes. All right, welcome everyone to the Cloud Custodian Community Meeting. The date is November 23rd. Please be aware that this meeting is being recorded and uh, put on the YouTube channel and the CNCF code of conduct is in effect, so please be excellent to each other. Um, I have the agenda going. I'll go ahead and paste that URL in chat if you want to follow along. And if you're new here, as usual, we I post these to the these notes to the mailing list into the discussions in the community repo uh, on GitHub. Uh, and with that, I'm George Castro. I'll be your host. Um, does anybody want to re uh, introduce themselves? Say hello. If this is your first meeting, welcome. Um, you don't have to say hi, but uh, if anyone wants to introduce themselves, this is the time in the meeting where we say that. All right. Well, it looks like everyone knows each other. <laughs> That's good. All right. Um, I have a few uh, agenda items. Some of this is old news. Let me go ahead and share the notes here. If you make it easier to follow along. So it is going to be a short meeting today because uh, this is kind of the short week with the U.S. holiday, and then I'm getting on a plane to get on reInvent uh, this Black Friday. So um, we're going to go over some of the agenda items. Uh, reminders and things like that. And then we have some juicy new things that have been landing in Cloud Custodian that we'll go over. Um, and then we will uh, break. So first, reinvent last call. Um, if you are going, we're having a little get together on the Tuesday night. If you just click through on this, it will take you to the registration page, which is not here. I think I have the wrong URL. Um, this is for the talk, the, the reception, yeah. right? Uh, can that's can, not a public can you give me the URL for the party? Yeah, and, and just for this URL too, there are links to virtual talks. Like anyone can attend those the week okay. after KubeCon. So if you want to keep that link there too. Awesome. Mm -hmm. You, uh, Where are you going to paste this? I'm going to paste it in the chat one second. OK, perfect. Yeah, but the virtual talks uh, in that URL is for anyone. They can attend. This is after the physical reinvent. Actually, there's a virtual reinvent too. But here's the link to the reception if anyone's joining. All right, perfect. And then I'll put it here. Let's say come from the party. And then I'll fix up that URL later. Um, so you can go here and register uh, so that we can get the food and drinks and all that stuff. Um, all correct. Any questions about the party? Anyone going to reinvent? If not, uh, check check out the link Umer was talking about for all the virtual stuff. All right. Any other reinvent stuff before I move on? I don't think so on this one. All right. The next one. This is a, just a reminder that we're going to say um, every every day until December sixth. If you are using Cloud Custodian on AWS, there were changes in lambdas that are going to land on december 6th which is the day after uh reinvent so if you do not upgrade cloud custodian um before november uh, before december 6th um, your policies will um uh, give you an error when you're provisioning them so uh kapil do you have anything to say about this you release 0.9.14 is a release you're looking for if you're on Amazon, and this is fresh as of eight days ago. Yeah, this is a bit of a snafu. Uh, I don't think we got fully aware of this till a little bit late in the year. Um, and I think we also got, so let's be clear on what's, what's gonna happen, what's gonna break, and what's sure. not gonna break. Um, uh, and so when you provision a policy the first time, no problem. You go to update a policy either through a change in the policy, uh, or a uh, upgrade of, of custodian, then it'll break without this change. Uh, this is just Lambda um, doing lifecycle changes that are effectively blocking while, while they are uh, in progress. Um, and so, yeah, if you're on AWS, nutshell upgrade. Uh, if there's about a week, we expect the, um, the Gitter channel and mailing list and GitHub to be flooded with issues um come december 6th when this goes into goes from a optional into a mandatory setting 
Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about actually sending a mail probably the night before so that when people join the list to... I, I think we should probably do a reminder uh, on next week as well, Monday or Tuesday, okay. um, just for the upgrades. Uh, but, uh, it, you know... Yeah, so uh, if you're on the list already, gonna... I apologize for the spam, but... <laughs> uh, I was actually thinking Gitter, but I, I don't know that it's really it, it is useful for us to do. I don't know that we're it's going to avoid the um, the uh, slew of support questions and requests after the after the deadline switches over. Yeah, but it's still good for us to do proactively. Understood. Um, I will send a reminder then. I sent a reminder to Gitter last week. I'll send another one. Uh, this week do you think it's worth having like some kind of a, a pin discussion or something on the github repo in case someone goes to report an issue or is that too like making up a problem that isn't there <laughs> so let's say i file a github issue and i say yo this is broken we can just close it and link it to the yeah that's fair yeah good existing call. discussion is that what is that? Uh, I, I think I'm thinking. Uh, I'm talking before fully thinking. So uh, let's say never mind. Oh no no no! We we should we should figure this out because that because <laughs> that's going to be the oh, one. Oh, I see what you're saying. We'll no, tired. that makes sense. I like that yeah. idea. Um, no, I mean people are going to scan issues. So if we proactively scan, like file the issue, when they scan for it, they'll see it. Um, no, that's a great idea, AJ. Okay, who's taking the work item? I should do that. If <laughs> say it. Just like I volunteered myself. <laughs> just, okay, uh, just, let me. I, you, you can. There's a. I think if you update your policy description to, you can do the opt-in flag, and you'll you'll see you get the exact error message. So if you flag that error message as part of the the issue, it should oh. pop for people. Nice. And can, okay. can we pin issues in GitHub? Or can we do like a banner thing? Up? I've seen a banner thing. Up yeah, there. I've seen that. Can, I think we can pin discussions that we, uh, although do we have discussions enabled on this repo? I don't think we do. We do not. I don't think we do. But okay. we definitely, there, there is a pinned issue capability. We should use that for this. Oh yeah, there's well. a pinned issue. Yeah, okay. okay. Sorry. And then, that is a okay. separate thing. Cool. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll put, since I'll be out all week, I'll put this AJ file a template bug so we can pin the issue. Kapil, pin the template bug filed by AJ. Yeah, it looks like I have an option to pin. I'll see if I can pin. That'll be a good, a good yeah. test. <laughs> Try to do it sooner rather than later too, because yeah, yeah, cool, yeah cool. that would be fantastic. I'm. We should have thought of that before. Next time. All right. Um. Any other major agenda items? This is basically it, um, other than going through some open PRs and issues that have been filed by the community. So, any other major issues before we move on? All right. So um, here are the PRs that were closed slash merged last week. Uh, Kapil, you got any uh, color on any of these? I don't think any of these are. Sorry, I can get back to the list. Uh... Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, the only one that maybe needs a little color is 6996. Uh, so we will probably do another release again before reInvent. Okay. This is, uh, oh, sorry. Well, maybe during during reInvent, the start of the week. Uh, this is uh, SendGrid. One of their dependencies on crypto was doing something rather silly and not validating, uh, not validating signatures. Um, and... Uh, uh, that has been flagged as a high CVE, which uh, our last release Docker image um, does currently flag against. If you do a pip install, you should get the latest release. Um, you should that that normally when we do releases, we freeze the entire dependency graph. Um, for the last release, we unfroze the one dependency uh, which has the CVE. Um, so uh, the that should no longer trigger if you do a fresh install, but uh, on the last Docker image, it does have a high or a higher critical, I forgot which one. Um, Got you. And so we will probably do a 0 0.915 just to make sure that we have a 
address that um, with regards to having a clean Docker image, et cetera. Okay, cool. So I went ahead and left an item then that we're going to do a release for that. Um, the other one, I, I just want to mention it real quick, the Windows Syntax one. This is the one I did. Uh, this was a result of someone um, finding the issue in chat and then just pinging us. So I was able to do a pull request within like an hour to do that. So if you're in chat and you see a problem with the docs and you want me to fix it, I will absolutely uh, fix it if I have the time. So um, yeah, that was just an issue where we were putting bash instructions where the command slash PowerShell should be. So that is now fixed. Um, new PRs here. Um, Kapil, any of these jump out at you? AJ noticed uh, Guillaume um, 7005 is a brand new contributor to the project. So any chance you're listening to this video? Congratulations. Thank you. We need a, a new contributor bell and ring it during the meeting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And and I have plans for like a nice, nice swag model, hopefully, that we can set up there. Um, and then some new issues here at the bottom. I, I saw you mention this one before. I think this was you, AJ. Didn't you PR this? The uh Oh no, this was Jameson. Uh, oh yeah, that, that was um yes, that, that was a good find from Jameson that it was busted. And that was just that was a normal we were updating dependencies and just one of the there was a conflict between the the theme that we use and the new version of Sphinx. And it was um so but yeah, cool. Yep. And then the C7A mailer depth was a high vulnerability that got rolled up in the 0 0.14 already, right? Or is this what's going to go into 15? No, that should have been that should have been on nine fourteen. Uh, yeah, I'm like reasonably certain this is true because that's that's the depth we are waiting on before we could release dot fourteen. Yep. Um, and I think Kapil's AFK now. Okay, and um, that's pretty much it. Does anyone have any gotchas? Anything broken? Everyone's so quiet. Everything must be working perfectly. <laughs> We have had a couple. I mean, a, a Gitter has been pretty active recently. We've got a couple. I mean, nothing major, nothing release blocking, but there, there's just been a, a couple little things coming in through Gitter. So uh, if you're on this call and not in Gitter, uh, asking questions there is cool. Uh, raising the issues in GitHub is generally better, but it's nice to talk through in Gitter. Sometimes it's not clear immediately what's a what's a bug, what's a question, what's a. Let me get but, the. Uh... Yeah, and if you uh, do notify that is an issue on. Gitter, it's definitely a good call to have them file the issue. Yeah. You know what? I think I've definitely, seen, and... I've definitely seen a lot that have been said sort of from, from many from Gitter. So it's great. Reminder, yeah, I think we, think we try to bring, uh, when we do open issues from Gitter, I think we try to bring, uh, to link back to the original discussion. I mean, bring as much context into the issue body as so people don't have to go hunting, but having links is nice too. Yeah. Do we know, Kapil, I, I know we have an item to investigate this. Is there a way we can get the history of everything in that Gitter instance? We I want to throw it in a full text search. In... Let's, yeah, we should talk about that offline. But yeah, yeah we can. Uh, I've experimented with this before. Let's even get a, a good archive because like the search sucks in Gitter. Right, and, exactly. Um, who would? Yeah, there, there are some things we can do. Um, it does require some like coding development time to get it done, I think. Got but, you. Yeah. All right. What I want, I just want to check it all into GitHub so I could just grep through, you know what I'm saying? Like if we grep 0 0.9.14, see what people are talking about or whatever. All right. Um, I, I did leave a note then there on the notes uh, for that, for people who don't know where chat is. So uh, that is handy as well. You know what? I should add that to the template. Um, all right. Anything else before we finish? Um, tomorrow, uh, the video will be ready, and I'll upload it to YouTube, and the notes and everything will be sent to the list, along with a bunch more reminders. Um, going once. Going twice. All right. Get your 42 minutes back. Thank you, everyone. If you're going to reInvent, hope to see you there. And uh, hopefully when we get back, we'll have lots of goodies to report uh, from you. And with that, thank you, everyone, and happy Tuesday. I'm going back on vacation. And for those in the U.S. <laughs>
Enjoy your turkeys. Oh, yes. Enjoy your dinosaurs. For the, for the majors. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Enjoy.